I'm really energized about these all these students here um, because it directly affects them more than anyone. You know, um, the jobs because that's what this is about. This is about jobs, um, poverty, and all of that. It ain't just about education. Um, but Duffy's plan is only about privatization, and, and that's not gonna get it, man. I think that sometimes when we send our kids to school, we do it so that they come out, so that they can stand up in the capitalistic community. We get them ready for jobs instead of finding the intelligence within them and bringing it out. That's right. <laughs> Education theories, which I think are wonderful, say that children are already amazingly intelligent. That's right. But the teacher facilitates bringing it out. Yes. They find yes. the creativity and, they, and they, they nourish it. And this mayoral control thing, this is the plan. And really, our schools need more care than that. Our kids need more special care than that. We're already going in the wrong direction, and we need to turn it right around. Yeah. The RTA is against this. More than 50% of parents are against this. Uh, yeah. We need to turn it around and give special care. And the way to do that is participatory democracy. And this right. eliminates it. <laughs> I go to School of the Arts, I'm Savannah, I'm a junior this year, and um, I'm what? really, I'm opposed to mayoral control. Can you, can you tell us what mayoral control is? Um, it's uh, people coming into the district that don't belong there, it's making our district not part of the students, we don't get to really vote on anything, there's no say from the union or from the students, it's all coming from one person, one group of people deciding everything, and I, I really, I think that's really messed up. Because schools have always been a choice, and I think they should be. I mean, I, I feel like the reason they're trying to do mayoral control is because um, they think that the graduation rates are really low. They think that teachers and administrators aren't handling schools well. And I think that I, it's, really, it's a hard thing to say. I feel like you can't talk to kids about changing the way they are because I feel like they would have done it already. But I think getting more kids aware of the problems rather than having teachers meetings and saying all these ministries we need to do this and this and this to make these things happen. I think that talking to the students and getting the students maybe more involved in their school than everyone else is would really help them. Um, I'm outraged that he ha finally having a forum on March 23rd and he's having it at 7.30 in the morning for a fee of $45. Um, so he's not trying to include anybody in that. So they just want to sit and, and have a look with the business people? Nah, man. I, I, you know, I'm really offended that he'd, um, he'd do something as dismissive as this, man. But it's just a, a, a sign of what he has planned to do when he takes over, if he takes over mayoral control. We won't have any input, um, and we probably won't even be allowed even for a fee to get in some place and, ha and have any say, man. Um, I've been involved in a lot of stuff. I've been never been energized about the real possibility of winning as I am with this. I really think we can win this because it's the right thing, man. He's messing with suffrage, uh, people's right to vote, um, and I think it's it's snowballing. I think I think we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. We're gonna win one finally. We have a diversity of parents with different backgrounds teachers, students, um, and just um, people from the community that want to get involved. He, his diversity exists of different businessmen um, and different politicians, man. Um, this ain't going to work, man. And I'm really um, outraged that Barack acts like he might even support this mess. My name is Teacher. All right, Teacher, why were you just hula hooping, holding a sign and trying to chant? Um, What's going on here today? I'm trying to do as many things as I possibly can to get attention to the issue of mayoral control. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's mayoral control? Teacher? Mayoral control is, um, it's an option, I guess, right now that is on the table to change education, perhaps for the negative, that would take away rights for students, um, rights within the school. Um, it would affect the control of finances. 
uh -huh. in the hand of a small um, and fearfully powerful few. Uh -huh. When right now it's in the hands of the public, it's in a uh -huh. collective um, body. That elected body will no longer exist, so the people will lose their rights uh -huh. and therefore lose um, the quality of their education. So, so we know that mayoral control moves us in the opposite direction of democracy. We've seen that in, you know, we've seen that in Chicago, we've seen that in New York City. Uh, ironically, the same cities that that Mayor Duffy points to as 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 examples of of this success of mayoral control. Mary Adams. Mary, what's going on today? I came out to oppose mayoral control because I had three beautiful girls in the city. They're in or about to be in the city school district, and I'm opposed to the mayor taking control. What is mayoral control? It's a consolidation of power in the interest of the ruling class. I don't think we need to look very far into the past. I think we can look into what's been going on in Rochester right here and, and how, how democracy has been affected and how voices have been silenced. I don't think it's a coincidence that we're standing out here in 30 degree weather trying desperately to get people to come out here and speak out against this. Mayor Duffy first came out with this idea in late December right as winter was about to hit hard. He knows that, he knows that that's a strategic plan that... Uh, that people don't come out in the cold and protest. The most insulting, I think, is he's calling for a so-called public forum open to the public who can afford a $40, $45 seat and is available at 7.30 in the morning. You know, <laughs> students and parents, parents are dropping their kids off at school at 7.30 in the morning. So, you know, that, that cuts them out. And half the people in this city can't afford a $45 ticket. I, I don't believe that this thing called democracy is for those who can afford it. Uh, or those who don't have obligations to their family, you know. Uh, democracy should be afforded to all, uh, and everyone should have their voice heard. That's what we're trying to do here today. Power to the people! Woo! Power to the people! Power to the people! All right, we thank you for coming out and raising your voices against Robert Duffy. We thank you for coming out and raising your voices against City Council, we thank you for coming out and raising your voices against David Gant, against Joe Morelli, against their buddies who preside over the colleges and universities <coughs> of, Rochester, of this area, the apparently ignorant buddies. Because how smart can you be if you can, if you will allow Robert Duffy to convince you in 15 minutes to support a plan that doesn't even exist. Yeah. We thank you for coming out and raising your voices against the ruling class, big business bandits who normally make all the decisions about economics, about politics, about culture, and about everything else. But we're here to tell them that that day is over. to let all of them know that we're not going to allow them to set us back to an era of Jim Crow. Well, to, right. No, we're not. To set us back to an era when they didn't have to respect the rights of certain races of people. To set us back to an era when they didn't have to respect the rights of certain classes of people. Right. Those days are over. Right. Yeah. Excuse me. We know that King Duffy, and that's what he's acting like, more like he's over a monarch, uh, like he's a monarch over a monarchy, as opposed to a democratically elected mayor. We know that he made a serious political miscalculation. He bleed the political polls, and he thought that the polls were indicating that he was so popular that he could do anything he wanted to do and get away with it. No, he not, no that's what he thought. He never dreamed He's wrong. that his mayoral control scheme was going to spark a people's movement. He never dreamed that. But that's exactly what he's done. And we're going to uh, stay right here. We're not going to go away. And uh, not only are we going to secure our voting rights, but we're going to secure economic rights. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, secure economic justice. We're going to secure jobs. We're going to 
secure decent housing. Work on that. That's right. And we're going to secure quality education. <laughs> Excuse me, education. You got to do a job. You got to get it. Excuse Woo! me. And <laughs> we want King Duffy and company to know that they're not going to go off to secluded rooms at the Rochester Plaza or anywhere else and make decisions about the lives and the futures of our children without our input. That's right. Those days are gone forever. Yeah. Who schools? Our school. Who schools? Our school. Who schools? Our school. Who schools? Our school. All right, we're going to continue to organize the people and we're going to have economic justice. We're going to have political justice. We're going to have social justice. We're going to have cultural justice, and if there's no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. All right, we're asking you to join us across the street. We're going to take this right across the street to the church and continue the work of organizing the people of Rochester, and we are going to have justice. Yeah.